Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have an exciting tutorial that will guide you through the process of importing XYZ values from Excel browsers like this. If you are a GIS enthusiast, a data analyst or anything working with special data, this tutorial is for you. So let's get started. Before importing the XYZ values into RGS, we have to prepare the Excel spreadsheet. So open your Excel spreadsheet like that. We are containing the X, Y and Z values. Ensure that your data is organized in column with X, Y and Z values. Make sure that your column headers are clear and descriptive. Remove any unnecessary rows or columns that do not contain X, Y, Z data. So I am removing here from this column and this column. Save your Excel spreadsheet as a CSV. So go to File menu in Excel and choose Save As. In the Save As dialog box, select CSV as Comma Delimited. So they are suitable from it and give it a descriptive name. I am giving here a name of point of double three and click on save. Then launch RGS up map. Create a new web pen. Click on OK. You can go to catalog. In the catalog pen, navigate to the location where you save the CSV file. So connect this folder. I have kept this folder on desktop. Click on desktop. Click on OK. Drag and drop this file to the layer. Then right click on Click on display XY data. Now you have to check the field X, Y, and Z. X field, field 1 is contained as a X field, field 2 contained as a Y, and field 3 contained as a Z. If you have a non coordinate, you can select this coordinate from here. Then click on OK. Click on OK. The imported XY data will be now displayed as point, but this point is not as a shape file. So if you want to convert this point as a shape file, you have to go over here, right click on here, right click on data, go to export data. Go to output feature classes, click on here, create a new folder, give a name over here. Select a file as a device type. Click on OK. A pop up menu appear over here. Do you want to add the exported data to the map as a layer? Yes, I want to add the exported data as a map layer. Now I am removing this layer. Go to here, right click on and check OK attribute table. Now can you see that this is the X, Y and G data on the attribute table.
Thank you for joining us on this tutorial and until we meet again be your journey be filled with endless possibilities and new valuable assignments. Keep learning, keep growing and keep inspiring others through your incredible journey of self-improvement. Bye-bye.